What is going on YouTube? As Nitro here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you my gaming setup. Now, for those of you that have been hanging out in my streams or watching my YouTube videos, I did promise all of you that I'd be showing you my gaming setup. I made a lot of significant changes to the past gaming setup video, so I'm not gonna waste any more of your guys' time. Let's get into it right away. All right, so here's a little point of view of what I walk to every time I'm getting ready for gaming. The first thing that probably caught your eye are the Astro A40s. I love these headsets to death. These are the best headsets I've ever used in my entire life. Um, they're, they're powered by Dolby Digital Surround Sound. They sound super nice. I can play music through them. It's, it's amazing. Best headset ever, all right? Back here, we got my car keys. Don't steal my car. Um, you probably saw my skates. I do ice skate a lot. You see those in vlogs too. Um, as we move on, we have the Elgato HD60. These are what I, this is what I use to make my YouTube videos as well as stream. Probably this is like the most popular. Everybody knows what Elgato is, so I'm not going to get into it, but it's the most popular recording device for consoles and even PC on the market. All right, now that that's over with, we're going to head on into the setup. All right, so this is a pretty much basic keyboard. It's just a normal keyboard. It's not even mechanical or anything. It's just a cheap keyboard that came in my PC. I'll, Honestly, I don't play a lot of computer games to be honest, so I have a basic keyboard and mouse. Um, I just basically use it to make YouTube videos and run my streams and stuff, so I don't need it to be too high tech. Um, on the left, this is the monitor that I play my Call of Duty with, or any other game actually. Um, it is a BenQ 27 inch 1 millisecond response time monitor. Um, I had this monitor for a pretty long time and it, it does a job. I, I'm, a, I'm a beast in Call of Duty, all right? Next, we have another 27-inch, 1 millisecond response time gaming monitor that runs my PC. I don't play a lot of PC games, but I wanted to get another, you know, fast response time monitor just in case I ever do play PC games. Like, I play PC games once in a while, but it's not, it hasn't been, like, a huge thing. So, yeah, that's my monitor that runs my PC. As we move on, you guys will see that I have an Xbox One. It's, it's kind of old, like... It's not even, this is not even dust, guys. It's like mostly like some kind of like sun damage or scratches or something. But this is my Xbox One. Pretty basic. Don't, want, don't need to get into it too much. Um, we also have uh, a hard drive for my Xbox One. Just because the Xbox One only has like 500 gigs. So, you know, I bought like a 2 terabyte hard drive to hold my game. All right, moving on. We have my internet. I have it right next to me. I pretty much hog the whole internet. Like I live with my parents and I have like two brothers, but I hog the internet. I'm an internet hog. It's like right next to me. I plug everything into the back right there. You guys can see the cords right there. That's the internet. Um, I mean, whole internet isn't the best, but at least I have the modem right next to me. Moving on, you guys notice that I have another headset. These are the HyperX Clouds. Um, these are also a pretty beast headset for your money. Like if you don't have hundred if you don't if you don't want to spend more than a hundred dollars this is the headset to get okay and I, I use this headset for my ps4 which sits under here we have a ps4 we have the controller um pretty much some um, camera accessories glasses case scent thing but yes i play ps4 as well i'll leave all my gamer tags in the description okay moving on down is my pc this is the pc that i use to make youtube videos um i stream with this pc it's a pretty basic PC, um, GTX 960, i7, 5820K processor. Oh, real quick, I almost forgot. Webcam. Say hello to my webcam um, camera. But pretty much, this is my webcam that makes me look super attractive on stream. This is what gets the follows. Thank you, Logitech C920. I'll leave the link in the description. I think they sell this on Amazon. I'm pretty sure everybody has this webcam. This is a pretty basic webcam, and it's, and it's super solid. Moving on. We got the Elite Controller, um, basically it's kind of like a scuff but cheaper. Um, I have my Control Freak on here, um, you know, it's pretty basic. Um, in the back we have like the paddle that I use, I only use the paddle, one paddle. Pretty much a jump for Black Ops 3. Um, if we push this down, trigger stops are on now. So You guys probably can't tell unless you really feel it, but the triggers um, travel a lot shorter distance. So when I play Call of Duty and stuff, aiming and shooting is a lot more responsive, which is super awesome. But that is my controller. Moving on down bottom, we open this case down here. We have a bunch of 
360 equipment. I could see in the back, I see some Turtle Beach X11s. I have a purple shiny chrome Xbox 360 controller. A bunch of games. So if you guys ever want a game with me, I guess you can look at the games that I have. Um, over here, it's oh man, it's a little messy. Um, we have some control freaks right here. Yes, I do use control freaks. That I think they help my aim. Not too sure though, but I, I do try to rock them whenever I play Call of Duty or any kind of shooter. Um, basic Xbox One headset. Oh, I got an Arms Forces controller that I totally forgot about. <laughs> um, we have some games. I can see Division, Uncharted, Evil Within, Walking Dead. Cardi W, I got Black Ops 2 for PS4 as well. But that's pretty much it for this TV stand. Moving back up, this is one of the newer things that I got for my setup. Um, we have the Rode mic stand. Right now, you can barely even tell, but I'm moving around the mic stand right now. This thing goes always, man. When I stream, like when I get, you know, mad and rage, I can like push this out of my face, bring it back down, push it to the screen, bring it to my face again. Like it pretty much flexes and every possible way that you would want your girlfriend to flex. I'm just kidding. But anyway, this is a road mic stand. It's pretty expensive. I will hook, I will show you guys, I will link to you guys every single part. There's like, there's like three different parts. This. So we have the pop filter, right? The dragon pad pop filter. This is separate. It doesn't come with anything. All right. With the blue Yeti mic right here. And then we have this, this blue Yeti stand that you have to buy separate. It's like 50 bucks. And then we also have the road my son. This is this is like a hundred, but I mean it's super worth it. As you can see right here, it's, it's a clamp, so you pretty much just twist it, and it pinches pretty much pinches it against the desk, and yeah, it doesn't move. Like I mean, it it, it might shake a little bit, but I bet you could barely tell. It's super super sturdy. Haven't had a problem with it since I bought it. I'm moving on down. You guys can see some games that I play mostly on stream. Dead Island, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 1, Overwatch. All right, done. Okay, but let's get out of this. Get this out of the way. In here, there's some accessories. This is the head pillow for my chair. I don't really use the headrest just because it's a little firm. Like it's not really a pillow. It's kind of kind of rugged right there. But I saw a YouTube video. Um, you can take out the stuffing. I just don't want to, you know, get all messy. And I mean, I don't want to like. I seen a YouTube video where you could take out the stuffing and make it a little softer, but you know, I mean, I don't really want to mess with the stuffing. Um, extra tire. We'll get into this. Later. This is a bunch of miscellaneous, pretty much, and I have it in the shoebox. So you guys can see how basic I am about my setup. All right, but let's get that out of the way. Oh crap! All right, but anyway, we got my nice shoes. Uh, right after high school, like shoes hasn't become like a huge thing, so. I mean, I don't have too many more nice shoes. I have like two pairs of like super nice shoes that I like to rock when I hang out with girls and stuff, which is like never. But anyway, okay, um, we have boxes, bunch of boxes, pretty much nothing that you guys that you guys didn't see already. Um, my life savings, I could see, I have like thirty bucks there. Nothing too special there. All right, so this is the last part of the setup right here. Um, we have the Kenzo limited edition chair. Um. Super super good chair. I give it a 9 out of 10. Um, I'll tell you guys why in a bit, but armrests go up and down. Pretty simple. Um, it also has three different angles. One, two, three. The other armrest does the same thing. Um, chair is super super comfortable. Like when I stream, for like when I do like an 8 hour stream, um, you know, I can sit in this chair no problem. It's super comfortable. Way more comfortable than my last chair. Like when I first bought this chair, I thought it was a little firm because the seat has like a lot of firmness in it, but I mean, that's good because after like a few hours, if you have like a flimsy chair, like my last chair, um, you know, it gets kind of uncomfortable after a few hours. But this chair, awesome. Backrest. I love the backrest. You guys saw the headrest in my shoebox. Um, the only reason why I give this chair 9 out of 10, I'll show you guys real quick, is that this lever, when I pull it, like if I do a little pull right here, it usually, you know, like in a normal chair, it makes it, it makes the backrest kind of move up already. But it, with a little tug, it doesn't really do much. I have to like really yank it up. To make the backrest move, but that's the only problem with this chair. But it still works. It's just that it takes a lot of muscle. So if you're like not really buff or anything, you know you're gonna have trouble moving this. Last feature about this chair, you have the up and down lever as well as the lock and free. So when you don't want to move around too much, you can lock yourself. So you can rock, and when you want to rock, you put it in free. That's about it. But overall, super, super, super good chair. Like compared to a DX Racer. I, I, I honestly feel like that I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Of course, I've never had a DX Racer because they don't ship to Hawaii. But 
I mean, if it ever did, honestly, like, look, all right, it looks exactly the same. Like, I don't see, like, how it would be any different. Like, I, I just saved so much money buying this chair, and it's awesome. It truly is. All right, so that is going to conclude the video for today. Hopefully, I gave you guys some pretty sweet ideas of what you could add to your gaming setups. Um, if you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe and drop some likes as well. Let's go for, like, three trillion, billion, millions, gazillion likes. I think that's possible. That's an achievable goal. So let's go for that. Slap that like button. Um, I'm going to leave my Twitch TV in the description as well as my social media as well as links to all the items that I showed you guys in my gaming stuff that I can find on like Amazon or something. So that should be pretty cool. Anyway, I hope to see you guys on stream or on my social media or hanging out in my YouTube videos. Drop some comments as well. Talk to me. I love the feedback. Anyways, as next show, I will see you guys next time. Shoot!